Hello everyone, I figured I would go ahead and show you how to create a Power BI report for multiple companies using Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I'm already in the Power BI Desktop. I'm just going to go over here and jump on my data tables and hit Get Data, right? This can start at any point. I'll go ahead and hit More so that I can grab the online area here. So if I'll go to online services and then we can go to business central and we can hit connect. And we'll go ahead and filter through what we want here. I'm just going to connect to this uh, demo environment. Now you'll see here that we've got the standard um, APIs that we would see with the regular business central connector. But we do also have this additional web services um, API as well, right? Um, so if you need some of those that are not in the standard APIs, see you have all of these here as well. For now, I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the vendor ledger entries that um, actually, uh, let me go backwards. I'm going to grab my, grab one of these. I'm actually going to grab a V2, excuse me here. So let's grab this aged accounts receivables. Um, and I'm going to go to transform data. Now this in here is actually where you're able to kind of dig down deeper. So right now we see that I just have like one company available. If I go over here to the right hand side to the query settings, I'm actually going to close out of this navigation screen and I'm going to brings me here to this source, right? I'm going to keep everything kind of clean. You'll see that I'm going to remove everything that is to the right of this uh, cell, basically, that's the different one, right? This is my expand table, but I'm going to remove these columns. You can either hit columns, choose, or remove, kind of depending on your, your aspect there, but we're just kind of breaking it down here. So then I'm going to hit this expand button, and what this does is, you know, load some, some tables here. Um, so now, right, we see that I've got my production environment and my sandbox. And we also see that I've got my multi-companies are available, okay? So I'm doing good. This time I'll go ahead and take this off of here, right? So if I just uncheck these, this will also remove the columns. And I just do this to keep it kind of condensed, right? I, I can't look at a lot of columns at one time. So I'm going to keep, right, you know, kind of trickling down here. Um, oops, I'm actually going to delete that stuff. There we go. Um, keep going here and keep expanding. So the next area that it's going to do is it's going to bring me to like the folder of what are called like the API sections, right? So because I know that I want the V2 entry, I'm just going to filter it to select there. Now again, um, I'm kind of methodical about removing all of these. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to expand again, right? So now what this does is this gives me the list of all of the V2 APIs. So once again, I'm just going to select all of off of all of them, and then I'm going to select the one that I want, and I will hit OK. And again, you see what we're doing here is I actually have this table here now, right? Um, or at least we're getting there. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is hit this expand and what this is is this is going to give me all of the fields that are associated with the account aged accounts receivables. So I'll be able to select what I want or what I don't want and I really kind of want to see everything in here so I'll go ahead and hit select there and we'll see the table expand out, right? So again, we see that it has it for all of my environments and all of my companies. So what this will allow me to do, right, is kind of manage my different queries so that whenever I go and I put my data kind of into a dashboard or a graph, I can also put a nice slicer in there so that there is a multi-company slicer option available. Um, but of course, first you have to get all of your, your data together and this is how you do it. Now what I would do is I would keep kind of filtering down here um, and then publish that data over there. But we'll save that for another video. At least for now, you know how to get all of your tables uh, between companies 
together in one section so that you can do multi-company reporting. Thanks. Have a good one.